Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a hamster. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top half of the circle, draw a curved vertical line for another construction guide. On the bottom half of the head, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of the muzzle in relation to the rest of the head. The bottom edge of the muzzle will be outside of the head. On top of the head, draw two small arcs as guides for the ears. The ear on the right should be smaller because the head is slightly turned. Pay attention to the placement of the ears on top of the head. Under the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle too. First make a few small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about twice the size of the head circle. Don't overlap the head as you draw this circle. Draw this circle slightly off to the left side. Under the head, draw a short curved line as a guide for the front leg. This line should be similar to the letter U on its side. To the right, draw another short curved line as a guide for the other front leg. On the bottom left side of the body, draw two short lines as guides for the hind leg. These lines should be similar to an upside down letter T. To the right, draw a short angled line as a guide for the other hind leg. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction line and on either side of the vertical line. Pay attention to the sizes of the eyes in relation to the head. The eye on the right should be slightly smaller because the head is turned. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Draw a series of short strokes along the right edge of the eye on the left for a bit of fur. Add a small angled line on the bottom right side for the corner of the eye. Draw a series of short strokes along the left edge of the eye on the right for fur. Make this eye thinner than the eye on the left. Inside the eyes, off to the sides, draw tiny circles for highlights. Shade the inside of the eyes. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you shade. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small circle for the nose. Draw the nose slightly to the right of the center of the circle. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Draw two short curved lines on the sides of the nose for the nostrils. Draw a vertical line between the nostrils for a crease. Darken the top edge of the nose using short strokes for fur. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. 
To the right, draw another short curved line to finish the other side of the mouth. Use short strokes as you darken the lines for a furry texture. Under the mouth, draw a curved line that's made up of short strokes for the furry chin. Follow the path of the initial circle as you draw the chin. Add a few more lines inside the shape to finish the mouth. Draw a couple of curved lines on the sides of the mouth for the rest of the muzzle. Follow the basic path of the initial circle as you draw these lines. Draw a few short strokes above the nose for the top part of the muzzle. The muzzle should fit inside the shape of the initial circle. Darken the arc on the top left side of the head to create the first ear. Add a few short strokes on the bottom right side for the furry base of the ear. Inside the shape, draw a short line for the ear's opening. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the other ear the same way. Draw a few short strokes at the bottom for the furry base of the ear. Add a short line inside the shape for the ear's opening. Now use the first circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the circle to create the furry shape of the head. On the right side, draw the edge of the head close to the eye. Make the bottom part of the head wider than the initial circle to create the big cheeks. Use a series of short strokes as you draw these shapes for a furry texture. Add a few more short strokes inside the head to emphasize the furry texture. Use the arc that's under the head on the left side as a guide to draw the first leg. Lightly sketch a series of small thin pointy shapes along the right edge of the guide for the toes. Pay attention to how small the toes are in relation to the guide. Make the toes smaller the farther down they are. When you get the shapes right, darken the lines. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Darken the top part of the guide using short curved lines for the top edge of the leg. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom to finish the shape of the leg. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch thin pointy shapes along the guideline for the toes. Make the toes small. When you get the shapes right, darken the lines. Darken the arc to create the rest of the leg. Use short strokes to create a furry texture. Draw a couple of curved lines between the feet to create a seed for the hamster to eat. Use the lines on the bottom left side of the body as guides to draw the first hind leg. At the top, draw a curved line that's made up of short strokes for the base of the leg. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw the bottom part of the leg and toes around the guideline. Draw the toes using short curved lines. Use circular shapes as you draw the toes because they're pointing toward the viewer. Use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. Draw the shape of the leg around the guideline. Draw the toes on the right using long thin shapes. 
These toes should be longer because they're pointing to the right. Use the big circle as a guide to draw the rest of the body. Make the top part of the body slightly taller than the initial circle. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the guide to create the furry shape of the body. Add a few more short strokes inside the shape to emphasize the furry texture. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use short strokes as you shade to create a furry texture. Add the strokes going in the direction of the fur. On the head, the strokes radiate outward from the nose. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Hamsters can have different coat patterns, so you can shade yours differently if you'd like. If you have a pet hamster, try to duplicate its coat pattern on your drawing. For this pattern, use a dark value on top of the head and the back and a light value on the bottom half of the head and the underside of the body. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Use a slightly darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the hamster. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.